it's so beautiful. What's that again about your face? Don't take a picture of my face. Why? Because it's beautiful. Because it's beautiful. Okay, nice. Hey, so I have to ask you, what's up with the water bottle? Protection. Yeah. Protection? Yep. yep. Usually you're on the low dog side. Keep a company. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we want to start. We want to start the Mexican squid game. <laughs> okay, I don't even understand that. Okay, that gonna, went over my head. The game is going to be pañatas with machetes. Okay. okay. And instead of red light, green light, it's going to be like similar <laughs> but crossing the border kind of. Oh my god. Avoiding vehicles. Of <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to have one called the coyote. Coyote. <laughs> coyote. Okay, I don't, really, I don't really understand these Hold on, these hold on. Jokes. You know La Rosa candy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta unwrap it and not break it. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't understand these jokes, but just so you know, the, the person telling the jokes and everybody laughing apparently is Mexican. So. <laughs> sure. Hold on, I gotta think of more games. Well, you know La Maria, right? Uh, yeah. Well, no, they're gonna have that as good games too, the Mexican version. La Maria, if you land on like Tula Muerte, you I guess I better get all these rope to it because nice. it's actually kind of slow in here today. Well, I mean, we have dogs, but they're not playing. Okay, yeah, right? we, we've got the Husky Alpha. Money heist, it's a different we've got Alpha. We've got Savannah. The Doberman. I'm sorry, I forgot your Doberman's name. Chase. Chase. Yeah, that's right. Chase. Okay, so we got the Doberman Chase. And, of course, we got Bodie. And then over here is Charlie, the Basset Hound. Usually he's good for a few barks. Right, Charlie? Yeah? Hey, Charlie. Hey, Arnold's here. Chase. How are you doing? Chase. Chase. All right. Chase. Chase. Come here. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to adopt him? <laughs> he doesn't eat much in spite of his size. Yeah. Huge. Chase. Hey, Chase. Okay, so I have to, uh, I have to do the follow-up. Remember uh, yesterday, we, well, I guess I was saying the jokes about the person with the cell phone and all that. So, so I just wanted to update because I, I wasn't able to capture it in the other video, but the girl did show up to give her cell phone. They got returned and she thanked you for finding it. Of course, I didn't get any credit. Yeah, she, even, she barely thanked you. Like, I don't, did she even smile? And you said when, when she called you on the phone, because what happened is, we, what, you probably had the cell phone for about an hour, right? And then she called, and then she called, and then you said it sounded almost like she just crying, right? Yeah. And then when she, when she came here, she wasn't, didn't even seem elated. She, she just showed up, reached, you met her, she reached out her hand and took it. It's over in like less than two seconds, right? That's a very bizarre. But I made jokes about the theories of who, who it was. We knew that she drove really fast, right? Because of what's in the phone. And then we knew what her name was. And then, and then I have my theory of of what she looked like. But I was so far away that I don't know if my theory was wrong or not. But apparently she was the invisible woman. Nobody 
he noticed her. But anyhow, um, I think this video will come out after the the cell phone boss video. So yeah, this will be the conclusion. But just to let you guys know that she did get her cell phone back. I didn't. I don't think I did. Yeah, I, I think I reviewed the video. I don't think I saw her. Yeah. That person was not underage, not at all. Um, she might have been. Or not. No, she, no, she oh, wasn't. Like really she wasn't. By the way, I think I have your nickname. Alright. Charlie here. Rope guy. Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> okay, you like that one? Charlie. Because you played uh, Tug of War so intense with Bodie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, there is a video where he plays uh, Tug of War extremely intense with Bodie. More so than anybody else. Probably lasts a good 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I will uh, link that video up at the end of this video so you guys can check What's that out name? if you want to. Rub, Rub guy. Rub, Rub guy. That's yeah. That's pretty racist. Okay. How, how is that racist? Please explain. Racist, right? The water boy. How is that racist? It's just racist. Yeah. It's more racist than the water boy or mystery girl? I'm not going to explain. Cause you gotta roll it. If I explain the no, I only. Hey, so subscribers so just so you know, I'm not gonna say your name, but just so you know, I don't use people's actual names. I use nicknames because I don't think they want their names Wait, out there. Bodie, come on, let's go, Bodie. Bodie, Bodie, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, you don't want it, huh, Bodie? Well, I'm giving it. Bodie. Oh, you're bringing it to me again, huh? I think they found something over here. Maybe it's a gopher hole. I think that Bodhi found somebody to play rope toy with. I mean, I meant to say tug of war with. Hey, so how many how many cups of food does Arnold eat every day? <laughs> one half, one half, one and a half. You're talking about one and a half plus one and a half, so three. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna take this sign off. Of but he's just he's just basically when he's at home just laying around all the time. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever uh, ran him, like jogged with him, or hooked him up to a bike or anything? Yeah. Oh, he gets tired really fast. Yeah.
like a dog. I want to see the 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 dog. I want He's trying to get him to let go or what? Yeah, I want to throw it. Yeah, the only way for him to get him to let go is for you to let go of it and then tell him to drop it. <laughs> so did you ever used to play sports? Yeah, I played baseball. Okay, baseball? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that you played sports because... Were you, are you about... Let me see, six, six one? Oh, six one, okay. Yeah, you do look like a, a baseball player. What's the highest level that you played at? High school? What position? Oh, okay. Did you want to pursue it in college or no? Oh, okay. Oh, so that wasn't an interest to you then, playing in college. Oh, football, okay. What position did you play in football? Really? Dang. Hey, you got to bring a, a football here. Because Bobby actually likes to chase the football when it's in the air, yeah. So if you have somebody to toss it to, yeah, he'll run back and forth chasing the football. Back in my day, when we had pet bulls, they were they were the slender, like the, the in-shape ones. Is that my dog's No, no, no. <laughs> That's the new style. Like, no. <laughs> no, after a few years, after a decade or so, they started to make the pet bulls wider, bigger, you know, more weight on them. But during, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the slender pit bull. Yeah. You're talking about, it, what do they call well, them? People game, always game, took pride. Guys always took pride the size of the head. So the bigger the head, the bigger the, all oh, right. Are the, the ones that you're describing, are they called like gaming pit bulls or gaming, gaming yeah. dogs, something like that? Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? I love, oh, I love then the they purge. They make a monstrosity big, dude. All of a sudden, they're like freaking one. Right. Yeah, they make them, they make like mini ones all the way to extra large. Now everybody's focused on how to tip their stones. Hmm. And some feed them stones, and they them more I mean, there was those two pet bulls that were. Remember those two pet bulls that fought? Those those things. They must have been on steroids. Now, just to be clear, we're talking about pit bulls, right? Yeah, pet bulls. Pit bulls, okay. Not pet bulls. Pit bulls. Okay. But, you know, at first I thought we were talking about like at a dairy or a farm or something like that. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I don't know if a bull can gonna be at a dairy farm. True. It's a different kind of milk. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if that's a that's a good point that you brought up about you don't think that bulls can be at a dairy farm. Maybe they bring the bulls in just you know, just to inseminate the females and then truck them back out. Or you know what? Maybe they don't even bring the bulls there. It's probably it's probably artificial insemination, right? No, I don't know. Why don't you uh, look it up? Maybe, well, he has the power of Google over here. No, YouTube but maybe, so, watching maybe, somebody, <laughs> maybe somebody watching at home, you know about that, how it works on a dairy farm, since there's only, seems to be only female cows there. So maybe they do just artificial insemination and never bring it in the mail. What, what is uh, Elon Musk? He didn't do on a, what did he do? He did something where the embryo was outside or something? And he has a couple of kids. Yeah, in vitro, yeah. Okay. Some of his kids are in vitro. Really? Yeah. And That's some interesting. Of them are, got <laughs> Doesn't he have like 12 kids or something? I don't know, but he can afford it, dude. He can afford it. Shouldn't he have been like a, a NBA player rather than the, <laughs> no, no, rather than an inventor? Because that's usually who has like 12 kids. How's, it, how's the procedure? They train the woman, right? Is involved, right? Uh, they it's the always going to be a woman involved. Take the eggs from the woman. Yeah. So if the woman, uh, typically it's women who can, um, who can have 
that baby. Yeah. All right, where's my rope toy? Enough of this sex education class. So he can't manufacture AIDS on the phone? <laughs> oh, God. I hope I did not record that. I hope you guys at home did not hear that. Someone actually said, so he can't manufacture eggs on his own. That was interesting. Hey, hey. Hey, first of all, first of all, why are they wasting, hey, why are they wasting time doing that with humans? They need to start the real Jurassic Park. That's what they need to do. Hey, where'd the rope toy go? Where is it? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, let's try to get some action going. Uh, it's it's kind of slow in here. Dogs aren't really doing much. So, let's see if Bodhi will play with this rope toy. <laughs> This little dog over here, Lucky, the bulldog mix, he has a, a claim going on here. A gopher claim. Bodhi! 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 Come on, get it! Ah, yeah, I can't give it if you put your paw on it. Let me give it, huh? You gonna let me give it? Yeah, you're putting your paw on it. I see that. That's cheating. Move your paw. That's cheating. There you go, boy. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, Bodhi, it's all yours. Bodhi! Bodhi, come on! Time to wrap! Let's go! Hey, Bodhi. Bodhi, over here. Come on, let's go. Bodhi, let's go. Come on. Let's go up. Good boy, Bodhi. Good boy. Sit. Bodhi, sit. Got a lot of dogs around this uh, cylinder today. Hey, sit. No. Stay. Good boy. Okay, so we're going to put a wrap on this video. Hopefully we were able to capture some action for you. Bodhi and I, we really appreciate you watching. If you can, please give the thumbs up. Also leave a comment or question down below. If you make it uh, short, we will try to include it in a future video. Also, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on because more videos are coming soon. And also a big thank you to everyone who watches the ads that helps support Bodhi. And then also, Bodhi and I, we want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has donated to Bodhi. We really appreciate your generosity. It's so kind. We appreciate it uh, from the bottom of our hearts. And let's see here. Uh, before we go, we want to read off a few names of people who watched previous videos and left comments. Ed Matthews, Vicky Stowe, Ricky... Ricky... Raw, I believe that's what it is. Uh, Susie Sinenshin, Carol B, Solar Flare, Anna G, Diane Zipperer, Rebecca Zimmerman, and Tiger Aries. And as far as a few of your comments, Terry Say, S-E-A-Y, says, uh, 
Bodhi is such a good boy. I love your videos. I have an OES that watches with me. Terry say thank you for uh, those very kind words. I'm so happy that your your dog enjoys watching with you. Uh, yeah, if uh, a lot of people have been writing me and telling me that their dog enjoys watching uh, the videos that the videos keeps their dog's uh, company. So keep in mind that Bodhi has a playlist. So if you're going to leave the house for a while uh, and your dog might be a bit bored, just put on one of Bodhi's playlists and usually it keeps dogs entertained. Uh, let's see here. Buck Rogers says, every white German shepherd I ever encountered as a kid was mean. Whoa. Okay, Buck Rogers uh, is referring to a video uh, where I was talking about how I was attacked by a white German Shepherd. And that video, if you want to hear the story, it's called Controversial Dog Park Video Concerning Pitbull, Cane Corso, Belgian Malinois. Uh, definitely worth the watch. I think you guys will find it interesting. Uh, let's see here. Diane Zipperer says... Uh, let's see here. Hold on. The wind is blowing my notes. Hey, sit. Bodhi, sit. No. No. Diane Zipperer says, When we lived in Ohio as kids, my brother got sprayed by a skunk, and I remember our mom giving my brother a tomato juice bath, but she threw his clothes away. Yeah, uh... Yeah, so I had heard about the tomato juice working for a human because uh, we were discussing one day at the dog park about, you know, if your dog is sprayed uh, by, by a skunk about what to do. And there's some product that's made specifically for dogs. But for humans, I've heard that it's the uh, tomato, tomato juice. So apparently it sounds like it worked for Diane Zipperer's brother. Diane Zipperer, really appreciate that. Uh, comment and thank you for watching so many of these videos. Hey, sit. No, sit. Good boy. Yeah, so I will try to put a link to the one that has the uh, has a story of that. I think it's the video where it's about. Uh, let me see here. About Bodhi getting injured, but I can't remember the name of the video. But I will put a link to it at the end of this video. I think it's like I saw blood. So I stopped filming, uh, my GSP got injured, something to that effect. But any, anyhow, I'll put it at the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you, all your kind words. So many of you have watched many of Bodhi's videos. We really appreciate it. So until next time, Bodhi and I, we hope we'll see you on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Everyone, take care.